Hi everyone, Kate from Crocoblock is here and welcome to this new video. Today I'd like to take you on a quick JetMenu 2.2 plugin version overview. So I know that a lot of you actually use this plugin in your projects and I'm pretty sure that soon more and more of you will consider building the websites on WordPress block editor or in other words Gutenberg because we already see this progressive tendency in this field. So that is why our developers decided to provide you guys with JetMenu and Gutenberg compatibility within this new version of the plugin. So let's not wait any longer and hop into the dashboard to see what's new and how it all works. So before jumping into the settings part, I'd like to show you what this plugin is capable of in terms of building nice looking Gutenberg based menus with all sorts of content you like. Right here we created a special demo page where you will find examples of how Jet Menu Blocks, Mega Menu and Hamburger Menu can be implemented and used on a site built with Gutenberg. Mega Menu Block with Horizontal Layout. Mega menu block with vertical layout. Hamburger menu block. The link to this demo is right in the description below, so feel free to check it out yourself. As for the settings part, there are no visible changes here as all editing and adjustments took place inside the plugin score. Just as before, you can create and manage presets, decide whether to use SVGs for your menus or not, cache template content and menu CSS appearance. But there sure is one really important thing that I'd like to draw your attention to. Jet menu and Gutenberg compatibility is available only for the revamp menu mode. That is why this toggle has to be activated for the proper functioning of the plugin inside WordPress block editor. Basically, with revamp menu enabled, any adjustments in the settings of main menu tab and mobile render tab will be applied to menus from WordPress locations only. For customizing other menus, feel free to use previously mentioned Mega Menu and Hamburger Menu blocks. When creating the menu and its structure, thanks to the Jet Menu plugin, you have an opportunity to add Mega content to the menu items and edit it inside the block editor too. And here, you can customize Mega content position and width. Also, you can add custom icons and badges to the item and adjust advanced settings if needed. Once the menu is created and all set up, you then can output it to the frontend using Jet Menu Blocks. Let's see what Mega Menu Block settings look like in the editor. Here, there are two settings sections to work with, General tab and Advanced tab. The first thing you need to do in the General tab is, of course, choose the menu you'd like to output. Apply the layout that will work best for your site and adjust the drop-down layout and its position. Then you can apply Fade Animation to the submenu items, adjust their position, trigger and target. Choose the Mega Container Width type and apply a custom selector for it if needed. Set the breakpoint from which the menu will be displayed as a drop-down on different devices. Decide whether to use Ajax loading for mega content or not, and whether to group extra menu items by rolling them up, thus reducing menu size. If this option is enabled, you can set the roll-up type and text. 
And here at the bottom, you can set custom icons for drop-down and toggles. As for the Advanced Settings tab, here you can apply additional CSS if necessary. Moving on to the Hamburger menu block, the settings here are just slightly similar. There are three settings sections to adjust – Options, Content, and Advanced. As you might have guessed, the Advanced section is totally the same as in the previous block, but other sections are different. So here in the Options section, you first need to select the menus for desktop and mobile devices, then choose the layout type, toggle and container positions, select submenu trigger and submenu layout, decide whether to close the menu panel after item link navigation or not, and choose whether to make item icons, badges and descriptions visible. Here, you can enable and customize the toggle button loader, as well as enable and adjust breadcrumbs if needed. As for the content section, here you can enter the toggle text that will be placed near the hamburger icon, and enter the back text that will be displayed near the closed icon, as well as set all sorts of icons for toggles, containers, submenus, and breadcrumbs. Just please keep in mind that this block supports only the SVG file format. So basically, Jet Menu plugin allows you to create and output advanced menus to the front end. But if you would like to have access to detailed styling settings, we recommend using it in conjunction with Jet Style Manager which is a free Crocoblock plugin that allows you to extend Gutenberg functionality by adding styles to it. And it can be easily found, installed and activated via the WordPress plugin search system. One more time, please feel free to check out the demo page, test this new functionality on your staging sites and implement it in your projects. So guys, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you will find this video useful, and even if you still work only with Elementor, I'm pretty sure that this is a good piece of information to have in mind, because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow and what kind of client you will encounter, right? So thank you so much for investing your time into watching this video. Give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Have a lovely day, and stand with Ukraine. Cheers, guys!